Hey guys, I'm Sarah from One I Know. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to show you a little bit of gardening, a little bit of pumpkining, and a little bit of watermeloning. And it's very easy to do. But this is even better. This is completely AFK. You don't need to lose all of that blood and sweat in the fields anymore. You can just have a pumpkin grow, and as you can see, it will instantly get pushed straight into the hopper, into the chest. You no longer have to worry anymore ever, ever. So if you'd like to know how this is built, stick around and I will show you how it's done. So you can also see it works perfectly for melons as well. Very efficient. I'd say it's about 95% efficient. And very easy to build. Very low on resources. Okay, so if you guys would like to know how this is built, let's get building it right now. So we need two normal, absolutely normal chests. We need exactly one hopper. If you can get one hopper, get a hopper. Then you need some ice. We're going to have the ice laid out. Okay, we're going to have it laid out eight times. Exactly. Okay, the reason why we want it like this, and the reason why I've counted to this extremity, is for a very real reason I will share with you soon. First we need glass going around the entirety of those eight glass. Okay? Okay, and I'm back, and I'm very sorry about that. I had a little bit of a moment, but that moment has passed, and I'm back with you guys. So we now have two chests. We have a hopper going straight into that double chest. And now you can see why why I told you guys about the eight pieces of ice. It's simply because it's simply because the water will stop perfectly then. That's why. Okay, so this is pretty much it. Very simple design. You guys can go now, it's over. The video's finished. This is your farm, guys. No, I'm kidding. Okay, let's just keep going. Let's just push ahead. Just ignore that guy in the background. Okay, so we're just going to do some gardening now. We're going to use pumpkin seeds and we can also, yes, we can also use watermelon seeds as I have mentioned plenty of times earlier today. We need a regular piston and a simple normal piston with slime on it. So if you're understanding that, you'll have two different pistons with you right now. We need a regular bo a block of choice and a box of glass. Once that box of glass has been doubled up, you now have two. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I'm very sorry about that. I'm having a very odd day. I'm finding it very hard to make this tutorial. I can't stop laughing. It's driving me mad. So I'm just going to carry on. This is like the 18th take and I'm not doing any more. So hopefully you can follow visually what I'm doing here. You can see I've made a gap. You can see that very clearly. And in those gaps, I'm putting the sticky pistons. Okay, so, but don't worry about the sticky pistons either side and in the center because we're actually going to put glowstone there instead. See, there's a twist. There's twists in my video. You never know what's going to happen. This is the best, well, one of the best Minecraft videos out there in this style from Australia. So please don't forget to like and subscribe as well because it helps me motivate my mojo. Okay, so I'm just going to fill up those holes like this and get some, we, we actually really need some of these red blocks. They're actually redstone blocks, and we need them on each of those sticky pistons, like so. Then we need a regular block either side, like this. Break this one here and get out a repeater and place it facing into that block of choice. If I can find room to put it into my inventory, here we go. Let's just whack it on four ticks, guys, and let's do the exact same thing on the other side. Hey, this is the exact same thing, hence not me needing to tell you what to do next. But I will anyway, four ticks, four ticks. Okay, so now we just build up like so, with the block of choice all the way around. Like this, and stop right there. Now we just need a little bit of redstone dust, and we're going to place it there, and then drag it all the way across. So whack it here, and drag it across to the other side. Okay, now that has been accomplished, we're ready to go on to the fourth part of this video. This is a quadrilogy. It's a fourth part to my tutorial, all in one video for your entertainment purposes. As you can see, when I'm putting it across like this, it is activating all of the pistons. Don't worry about that, you don't need to worry about that. So just keep building around a perfect square like so, and you're done. Okay, so at this point, you can literally just leave right now, 
and eventually you will have lots of lots of inventory from that chest. And now it's a waiting game, and as you can see, you gotta wait. Once it's waiting, we're not gonna wait, we're not gonna wait, I'm just gonna break this one out like this and show you guys how it works. So let's let's show you this how it works. Is we've got to jump up here and break the roof. Let's say a pumpkin was born right here. Bang! As you can see, it instantly gets pushed into the water, into the hopper, into the chest, into your mouth, into my mouth. Oh, when from nothing to less, when